Hi everyone, this is Kazra Amit Hassan and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, if you are new here, then let me give you a little bit more introduction about myself. Well, I've already told my name, I'm doing my master's in School of Computing of Queen's University, Canada. And my master's program is a research focused program. So apart from my studies and regular coursework, I need to do a thesis on a particular topic and write a thesis paper to get the degree. Well, this is all about my master's and my current situation. Well, in this video, I would like to talk about some tips and tricks that I regularly use in my master's life to make it easier or to make it organized. So I think I should deliver this message to everyone out there because it's really important to stay organized in master's or you can say in PhD because in research work you need to really focus and you need to really work efficiently in order to get your research and otherwise you might take the whole day or two or whole week to read a one small research paper so our research work needs a lot of like effort and dedication a lot of focus a lot of focus I would say so to make things a little bit simpler I would like to talk about some tips and tricks, some apps, some tools that I irregularly use in my research. So this video will be uh, divided into several, pa several parts along with I would like to like make some more videos about some more tools and tips and tricks because I, if I start to talk about uh, all the tools here in one video then it might take a bit longer. Oh, and yes, in case if you are wondering that where I am right now, well, this is my lab and it's a very quiet space. There's nobody in my lab right now. So I'm planning to make a video on like a tool that I'm recently using a lot. So the tool that I'm using a lot is Notion. Well, I know there are a lot of other alternatives out there in the, in the, web, in the Google or in the websites and other stuffs. But I think uh, particularly Notion is really helpful in terms of right, articulating your thesis topics or, or anything here that you want. Also, uh, I used to uh, like I used to use the Google Doc before I was introduced into Notion. But I find the Notion uh, a bit more flexible and a bit more like easy to use. Uh, but I uh, my love towards the Google Doc is really immense and that's separate uh, but apart from that i i'm using the notion right now and i'm really loving it so how i use notion in terms of my research and my other task so let's dive into that and uh, let me share my screen and describe the process a quick disclaimer is that i'm not going to share all of my stuffs because they're those are really confidential uh, I will like rather than explain how I um, make the whole document in an ocean that would help me in terms of my research and other things. So let's go and explore the notion with me. So right now we are on the Google Chrome right now. So let's go and see how you can like download the notion. So new tab and like the notion okay so if you type notion and this link will appear that for sure that www.notion.sl so you need to go in this link and a very well designed uh, website I must say will appear in front of you and you can see that you can use different templates different meeting notes some roadmap other things here so here are some options like product some download options some solutions some resources and and obviously it has some price for it but uh, it's easy to use the free version here and one more thing in the price section let me go there so if you are using that for personal usage for individuals then it's free totally free it's uh, it would be shared uh, up to for like five guests and you can uh, open uh, unlimited pages and blocks but if you pay four dollars per month then you can like uh, upgrade to the personal pro plan which I have been using 
uh, I have uh, so I have unlimited file uploads option I have to I have like uh, unlimited guest invitation option and I do have uh, the 30 days of version history so but I don't pay anything for that because I ha I used uh, like I logged in or like I signed up with my university email so the notion has that sort of like educational plan for students who have the, their own educational emails with them uh, they will provide them the free access to the personal pro plan and if you would like to spend money on the on this then you are very good to go and obviously notion is not sponsoring this video so this is uh, totally from my heart so you can uh, see uh, the and compare the plans you can see that there um, there are some slightly significant difference from personal and, and to personal pro plans so that makes sense right so you can download the notion from here if you were a mac or a windows user then you can download from this this option or you can also like use the mobile version of it and it's totally synced in every device so it's really easy to use like if i type something on the mac and i go to outside to hang out with some friends and i open up the notion app on my phone then i will see that the, the thing that i've left here in the lab that uh, that's exactly appeared in my in my mobile phone so that makes everything really smooth and easier for me so if you go to the ios or android version then it, it will redirect you to this apple app store link or google step app store link also, if you go into the Mac or Windows uh, option, that you, you can download it for Mac. I have done. I have. I said use the Mac, so I have downloaded the Mac version for it. So let me open the Notion for you guys. So let's go and type Notion. Well, if if you don't know that, uh, what is it? I am using the uh, like search option of the Mac. So if I click the open, then it's. It will take some time to open so let's wait until it's get ready okay apart from that you can like uh, explore their various options like what here you go it's taking some time to sync the things okay so i need to like uh put my email here so i will write i will be right back after putting my email this is how it will look like after you give your credentials in the notion app so i'm particularly using the extra version uh, or the desktop software uh, of this of the notion so i'm using the light uh, color version i would say uh, and this is look like this uh, if you prefer the dark mode then you can use the dark mode too so here are the settings here are my uh, profile that i use yes i can i'm using the personal pro plan uh, with with the educational tag which which i have uh, claimed free uh, i mentioned earlier about the uh, how how you can enable the free process so that's how it is so suppose uh, you are right you're reading a research paper and you, know, you, you need to write some key notes or key points about the paper so let's see how I do that so first let let's go in a Google Scholar or a particular uh, paper this is my own paper I'm not using that let's go in the Google Scholar okay the Google Scholar and let's go uh, in this one this one Let's click that and yes accept all the cookies and yes detection of Parkinson's disease using the multi mode model data set so the abstract here uh, I guess this is the uh, this is not openly available so let's go with the abstract here so let's uh, copy the title here and put that in the into the notion title you can see that the title is automatically changed in, in this status bar so i personally don't use any sort of templates or anything like that but if you are feel that your template would make your life a bit, a bit more easier then you it can definitely go with that for your convenience i let let me explore some templates for you guys so as you can see that 
there are different tempters like the class notes, some some job applications for students or the thesis planning. I'm particularly using this, this thesis planning for my plans. And also you can use some uh, lesson plan, course schedules, etc. And you can uh, find a lot of things like productivity enhancement type of templates uh, for the student section. Also, there are some personal section like quick notes, some uh, task lists, lists. You can see that there are there's some a uh, lot of interactive way to like organize your, ta your daily tasks or habit trackers i you used to use that habit tracker a lot during my initial days so let's go with the pretty basic one so what i do i first r read the abstract and get a brief idea about the paper and then i would jump into the other sections too so i i usually i will have a like table of contents here so I click that table of contents and click enter so it will automatically create the table of contents here for myself then go to next page let's let's read the abstract here oh it's not this one I'm really sorry let's delete it okay so let's create a section let's create the heading 2 and keep it abstract okay so let's write some key points about the paper. So if I go to the paper, you can see that the Parkinson's disease is a neurological condition that causes tremors, stiffness, and difficulty walking, balancing, and coordinating. There's no cure of PD. Okay, they have used. Uh, they're focused on some multimodal data, speech, and image data set to predict the Parkinson's disease. So yes, this is the key key thing to take away from the paper that they that what type of data they are using and what the what is the algorithm so let's copy that thing and go to the notion and paste that so as you can see that in the abstract there are some key terms like what what they are using what type of data they are using and what what is the methods they are using so this one and then let's go again in the paper so they have used seven different machine learning algorithms to compare the speech data and they have used a tense stage 201 for the image data so this is a uh, thing that you can like add into the notion so seven different ml algorithms and a dense net for like the image data set so you can copy that particular portion and paste here so the, these are the, some key points about the papers abstract okay so let's go again in the paper they have talked about some image data and they talked about the result with that is 94.87 percent for the image data so let's copy that result and paste them okay and let's go again and this is the accuracy for the spiral and wave images and they have also like mentioned the novelty of their research so this is something that you must and must like read so this is uh, a, a summarized version of the abstract you can like uh, whenever you get time you can come to this part and you can see that okay so this this is the name of the paper they have used the these methods this data set and this high risk accuracy is that much and the novelty of their work is that i'm again saying that this is not the a perfect way you need to like drill down more by doing the introduction and and take away the key points and by reading the data data set in detail and uh, read other plots etc so like but uh, the way you can uh, use that template is that you can uh, like get start with the like reading paper habit and taking small notes so that makes sense right so suppose uh, the, our abstract version is finished so you, you can just simply go right now and like uh, type the heading true and keep the name introduction introduction so as you can see that the table of contents are automatically added here so now i will like write some key point one here and key points two two suppose here so it will automatically like add the table of contents here suppose i uh, access the notion app using my uh, mobile for or mobile phone so i will go in the this paper and i will go then uh, that was struck but it will type directly 
throw me in the abstract part and if I click on the introduction part it will uh, give a highlight of the introduction part here so this is how I use uh, notion to take small notes about the paper and I use this a lot uh, while reading a paper because it's really hard to like uh, take notes on papers for each of the papers because I need to like read a lot of papers like uh, two or three papers in by every two days or every one day so it's really difficult to keep the uh, keep everything in the into my head so I usually take this types of short notes uh, in Notion and whenever I go for a meeting with my supervisor or, or anyone to discuss about the paper I usually go through these short notes and I quickly I get all the ideas on my head and then I will talk about the paper with my co-worker or my supervisor. So this is how I use Notion for reading a particular paper. So I hope uh, some students or some people will find uh, this approach uh, of this video helpful. Uh, those who are using Notion on any or any other platforms of note taking. So that's all for today. I hope you like the video. Uh, I guess this video will be a bit longer than expected, but I think if you put a good amount of time here then it will save a lot of your it will save a lot of your time while reading a, pa a paper multiple times that makes sense right so thanks for watching and see you soon i i hope to make some more videos about uh, how to read papers on others other softwares apart from notion because apart from notion i also use the zotero for like highlighting the papers it has an awesome awesome feature like renaming renaming the papers uh, automatically and also like stacking them in a in a very sorted way so okay see you guys soon peace out